Hello and welcome Iron Man Let's Play, where last time we um, had a very good, uh, very good uh, mission, and nobody got injured, which is always great. So we'll see. We'll take a look at our soldiers. How tired is she? Can't tell. Doesn't matter. Don't care. Okay. So next. <coughs> I just ate some nuts and they got caught in my throat which is always great we so we are gonna keep working command. on the additional mission lost and in turn cause great loss for others I shed blood in my master's name just as you send others to shed blood in yours what do I actually want next? I think I'm gonna go for a laboratory here because it's so I am going to build my uh, workshop here because this can be increased by using a, uh, an engineer this can be improved as well uh, should have now nah, well I didn't have time to put the power relay here but if I did that would have been perfect but I didn't, so I suck. Whatever, I am actually going to put my Scilab there because if you put a Scilab or something on top of a power car, it actually doesn't use any energy and as far as I'm aware, the Scilab is the building with the most, most energy drainage. Um, so currently, I don't even have the power to build anything. So I will just use my engineer to clear this. Even. <coughs> no, I should probably clear the the space where we want to put. Um, where we want to put the workshop first because it gives us two additional engineers, which is great. And the workshop is really useful until you have so many engineers that it actually doesn't matter. Tactical mission site located. Okay, so we got a supply raid now, which we have to do immediately for some reason. Um, we're gonna take it and for the Eastern US it should go well. Precinct. We do need supplies as the game has so helpfully told us. Okay. I'm good with this. I need to give my sniper a better weapon. Good. I don't know why Mox isn't on this mission. Let's just look. He's tired. God damn it. I was tired of these people. But it's fine. We do like taking our grenadiers out. So you, you also have a better weapon. No, you do though. Laser sight, no, it's pretty useless. I think we just have to give him um, healing, and then we're good. Um, yeah, we have a flash deck bang with us. Everything else seems to be fine. Let's just go. So probably leave our Reaper tired, but I guess that's what it does. Especially if you're power leveling your unit, as we are with our Reaper. The better she is at killing stuff, the less she'll get hurt. And the more useful she'll be in the long run. I do hope we get to get additional Reapers. Well, I guess if you have tier 3 weapons, you don't really care anymore. You don't. You can just steamroll pretty much every level at that point, so. Resistance operatives disabled an advent convoy in this region. And they sent word for us to come in and seize whatever we can. 
This is the perfect opportunity for us to recover some of their gear. We'll need to secure the AO and neutralize any hostiles still in the area if we're going to get anything of use out of there. Yeah. So hopefully what we are going to get out of there is alien allies, even though I don't know if that's the way it works. In previous missions they just popped up at some points and I didn't know why. But having um, these rumors where you get additional missions is always very very helpful. Because that happens like once every, once every campaign. So you're always happy when it does happen. Menace one five. The disabled advent convoy is just ahead. Engage and eliminate all. I really like this biotope. It looks so. So crazy and alien. Um, oh, we actually have location scout. That is crazy. I love that. I, if I knew that, I wouldn't have taken my Reaper. Uh, location scout means we basically have wa uh, have map hacks, so we can see everything. Okay, so we see a pot there. We can. There's three people there. Is that really all? There has to be more. Oh, so um, I know why this is why we have so few pods. This is a uh, this is gonna be um, 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 this is gonna be a chosen mission. So she's gonna spawn somewhere back there probably as soon as we engage our first pod. So the way we are gonna do this. Are we concealed? We're concealed too. Um, the way we're gonna do this is we are gonna completely kill this pod and then set up shop and wait for the chosen to attack us. Assuming I'm not wrong and I just missed a pod, but I don't think so. I think we actually. Yeah, this is pretty clearly a chosen mission. Okay. Which again, I'm gonna basically. Uh, I still have to get vision on these guys in order to shoot them with my sniper but um, yeah so oh we also kind of want to stay away from the building if we can so the chosen doesn't have but she's much less of a problem here Let's on these this. open spaces than she is in a since we only have one chosen at the moment and she's like the assassin. If I can, I would actually. Well, it's kind of greedy, but if I can, I could take out both pods. You will never hide the invader send I might be able to take out both pods in before, like after we attack this pod, we're gonna no spawn the chosen. And in the turn, or two, where the chosen moves towards me, I could maybe take out the other pod, but it's not important. We just don't want them walking into us while we're attacking the Chosen. So they're actually moving towards us, which is great. I really want to kill the priest. ASAP. Those dudes are also moving towards us. Yeah, so I think this is good. Um, I'm gonna see who my sniper sees, but I am gonna engage on this turn. So who do you see? Well, you can one-shot the priest, which is just amazing. But he does have his goddamn sustainability. It's a one-third chance that they don't get it. And a two-third chance that they do. Okay, so with him, I'm just gonna use my heavy to destroy his cover, hopefully. She actually oh, missed, on. which is a giant pain in the dick. Um, 
That's just, that is really dumb. I don't like that. I move my Reaper, can you actually go to that position yeah. and try again? Because we are not gonna have a good, no you can't actually go to here. And you won't be able to see it. Okay, so we don't want to move anywhere here anyways. Because we will... Finally. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this makes that easy. This will probably not even destroy the trees. That is why I wanted to use the other ability. And I guess that rocks in a way. But I thought the preview showed me being able to attack him. So I can actually just... How can you not... Are you kidding me? There's a fucking tree in the way again. I hate it. I hate it so much. Um, we really want to kill the Stun Lancer on this turn. Because if we don't, he will probably fuck us. Which is bad. So what I need to do is move her... To a flanking position. No, I don't want to use my special ability yet, actually. So I'll just try to get a better angle on the Stun Lancer. You can only see one from here, which is the right amount of people I want you to see. And hopefully hit the Stun Lancer. Which he did, which is great. She's our last... So she will actually not do anything, no one will but basically just snipe the priest in the next turn. Oh, hello there! Join me, I'm just happy to see you. I will just and play you somewhere this I last quickly. time, I think. But this time the game won't crash. Heads up out there. It's the elder's assassin oh, no. and she's moving into the AO. Yeah, so this is something they sometimes do is that they go to a different part. Where will you possibly run that I cannot find you? I kind of wanna take out that priest. Uh, I don't know if I can see him. Don't want the chosen to run past me. Because she'll reveal me. I will go. But she does act after. Okay, so we have a 50% chance, which is something we are definitely not going to take with our Reaper. Because that is very likely to result in a 50% chance to reveal. So we are going to move as far as we can away from this building because the. Chosen will use the building basically uh, will use the building to hide in which is a giant pain in the dick Understood. Moving out. I will not take my 20% chance on the thing on the priest So move, move. if I stay away from everything and remember she can't see my reaper so she doesn't know where it is. If I stay away from building as far as possible she's probably gonna hide behind a tree after she attacks me. And that will just be shot by one of my heavies Run. and um, I will be able to take her out easily. So you are gonna go closer. Hmm. So we wanna put our Reaper in a position where she's unlikely, where it's unlikely that the Chosen win will run past us. And she's in a position where it's very likely that the Chosen will run past her. Okay, so the Chosen spawned here. She's moving to here. This means she is not gonna be on the outside of the map probably. 
it's not the end of the world if we do get revealed, but it will be dumb. So we have... Uh, oh, I forgot that I had a repeater, uh, not a repeater, an autoloader on this gun. So I actually just raised it my autoloader. Autoloader. So we'll see where the Chosen ends up attacking us. Pretty much don't really want to engage that part at all. Wait, 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 wait. So if this explodes, I will damage a unit. This means that the Chosen is somewhere around here. I can pretty much... Okay, so I am gonna reveal my Reaper probably. But I can also... I'm also pretty likely to um, reveal the Chosen, but I think she's on this, she's here, I believe. Because I don't really want to blow up our, um, this truck, because if I do, um, it'll destroy supplies, and I really don't want to do that. And I also don't want to move our Reaper to, well, I can't. But she's not flanked here, so I really believe that she's sitting right here on this square. Or how much blast radius does this have? Yeah, so she's probably either here or here, I would believe. I would. Well, she's probably going towards higher cover, so she's probably here. But I can't reveal her unless I blow up the truck this means I will try I'll try maybe I'll find her so I think the most likely is I need to flank her so I can only do that if she is here but she isn't I don't think Hmm, we have just a little bit too little. Well, I'll just move here where I think she's definitely and I can give my Reaper an additional turn. In short order, the time for hiding is over. An alien scouting party. So we didn't actually reveal the chosen. So I don't know where she is. Maybe she's hiding here. That's strange. Whatever. I... Wait. Also says I can blow up this. But it doesn't hit any of the aliens. So where is the Chosen then? So it would... Hmm. Because there's no overlap between those two. Well, whatever. Um, we're basically not gonna do anything on this turn. But I am scared that this pod will actually run into us at the same time that the Chosen does, so maybe we will just retreat. I don't know. The pod is still far away, I guess. Let's just reload and deal with the attack we can't avoid. She shouldn't be able to kill anybody. Come get some. Just in case we ru the pod runs into us. We are on just going to put them on overwatch. Because again, against the Chosen, it does nothing. Did I maybe just mistake the truck? Maybe. Okay, no on matter. Watch. Well, okay, so we are gonna trigger the pot. Godless. I really hope we don't have them moving in. I, I think they might, though. They aren't. Okay, so the Chosen's gonna attack somebody. Or maybe not.
Okay. So I think the chosen should be somewhere around here. I need my Reaper in order to one shot the chosen, hopefully. So I'll move her here, which might be exactly where the chosen is. Not Could maybe far. even reveal her by running past her. We didn't. Oh, we did. Perfect. So this is really good. So you've taken one back. Somehow I doubt it will be the last of your soldiers we that I take. Captain. Might be able the to one shot her in now. Time to okay. Put it so down. first off, we will have to give our Reaper an additional turn. We're gonna have to be Together really we careful. Strong. Well, positioning our... Um, I don't know if we can do much at all. But we'll see, we'll see. So... So of course we don't want to injure our Reaper. So we are going to put our Claymore right here. I'll leave this here. And we are gonna trigger the claymore using a grenade. I can actually use a throne grenade, which might be better. So he has already used his first turn. Okay, so this way the, the chosen is hit by both grenades and we don't destroy anything else. Or injure a Reaper and we one shot her, which is fantastic. I'm really happy I got to reveal her. It's rare to find an opponent worthy of my skills. Rare still to find one capable of besting me more than once. So this went sure perfectly. We'll so we haven't had any sure trouble with the chosen so the far. Today, and I hope it stays that way. And that we will be able to take to kill her as fast as possible. So the others are here. I don't want to find them this turn. I won't because my Reaper doesn't see them. Which means that I can pretty safely move up to the point where my Reaper is. Without finding them. Um, so I'll just move up a little bit and get all Let's my um, things in a row before I engage the other part. Get my Reaper hidden again and all that good stuff. She is... Hmm, I think I should be fine here. I think they shouldn't see me, but this is a better position than the other one. We do have one tree ahead of us, but it should only take out a tiny bit of, vi of vision. I kind of want to move him here, but I kind of don't, because if I do, I'll probably see the pod. Hmm. I might be able to get away with putting him here. Step Her, I guess. Okay, so we got away with it. We're not gonna push our luck any further. We're fine. They're probably... Yes, so they actually saw us, which is perfect. We actually hit the Viper, which is even better. So this mission is... I don't know, this is just perfect. Everything is going perfectly. Probably can't do much with blowing that up because it will destroy stuff. We don't want destroyed. She is flanked, so I can't put her into shadow. Can't put her here though. As you order, Commander. Put her into shadow here just in case we don't kill the entire pot this turn. Um, I will finish off the priest with her. Tell your god I'm coming. And then we'll just work on the rest. 
what can the sniper do? She can kill the stun lancer pretty reliably. The viper's almost dead, which is also good. Stun lancer's dead. Target eliminated. This might be a really good mission if we don't. I don't have mocks with me. I like mocks for taking out vipers actually, because they, he can just pull them towards himself. Okay, so we want our heavy to shoot at uh, um, at the mech because it'll destroy. Well, I don't know. We definitely want to take the damage off the off the board. Um, which might mean just using her. Wait, I can't actually. Can I get to a point where I can shoot? So the Viper is behind full cover, which is bad for us. And we can only... Can only... Uh, can attack the... The mech if I completely move out of cover, but that's probably not the best idea. And what I'm just gonna play it safe. Here Turn into cover. Which is really bad cover. I will flashbang both of them. It should save us from getting injured, I hope. Oh it doesn't work on Max. Okay, that's good to know. So that means, so the the mech is much more of a problem than the viper is. So all the viper is gonna do next turn is shoot, because she cannot use her powers. Okay, so I can. Okay, so my idea is I'm gonna attack the mech with my heavy. I'm going to hope that the mech moves first before the viper does, so I'm gonna put him on overwatch and hope he takes... Yeah, so the viper doesn't move at all, which is good. And now we need the mech to move into the field of vision and get overwatched. He doesn't. He actually crits our heavy, which is just fantastic. Okay, whatever. We're gonna use our. Um, we're gonna use her in order to flank. Really? This isn't. Oh, yeah, it's not flanking because there's half cover there. Well, we'll start off with our sniper. It's hopefully gonna hit the Viper. She did. It's great, I don't know. I actually don't know if I finish the mission on this turn, if it's important to pick up the loot or if it is automatically picked up. Well, we didn't pick up any other loot this round, so I will just uh, find oh, out, I guess. I am to obey. So if we get loot, then it's automatically picked up. Your friends will join Which I believe. Confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So we again got really lucky with taking out the Chosen, which is amazing because the Chosen can be quite a big pain. But she, at the point where you have armor upgrade number one or you have tier two armor, she isn't quite as dangerous because she can't actually one-shot any of your people before you can see her. I don't think at least. But she can be quite annoying. Now, but she is... To uh, all she's only the second most annoying chosen. To return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them. United in the Elder's love for us, we shall prevail, no matter the cost. Why does it say 100% shot 
percentage because I remember we missed a shot. Pretty sure we did. The game's lying to me. is isn't cool, game. Okay, Maybe so we'll see who leveled up. Nobody did, which is sad, and, and everybody's tired as well. Also, our Thumper is gravely wounded, which is unfortunate, but that's kind of how it goes. Okay, so we got alien alloys, and we got 82 of them, which is amazing. Not so much amazing is the fear of mechs. Which could be a giant pain what in the I ass. You, I want you to build me all of these upgrades, basically. That is just amazing. So we have tier 2 everything now. Which will make our life really easy from now on. Having never set foot in one of the city centers? As long as we also mainline the... There's another gorilla up. That is great. I've never gotten this lucky on, on new getting additional missions from these rumors. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. A victory without design.